Judge Day! <laughs> All right, now this is gonna sound a little bit like Groundhog Day. Talking about groundhogs, look at this little woodchuck chucky. He almost got me once, he almost got me twice, he almost got me a third time, now he's off. Now, if you wanna see more entertaining clips like this, click on the below link, because for the first time, you're going to see me and the amazing survivalist, Laura Zera, take on North America. Don't miss out, guys. Now, I've done some pretty stupid things in my life, and catching a skunk without a face mask is probably at the top of the list. Having chased this guy out of a wood pile, I'm trying to catch him without getting sprayed by his anal scent glands, which he can effectively eject up to 3 metres. This stuff will literally absorb into your skin and makes picking up girls almost impossible. It literally takes weeks to get off. Sprayed me in the face. The, this guy here is called the striped skunk. And the reason why I'm wearing sunnies for is not because my eyes. It's not because my eyes are hurting to the sun. It's because this guy here, when he sprays, it's not just the bad odor, he's just trying to get a bite on me. It's not just the bad odor, it can also make you temporary blind. Now, he's just sprayed me on the face and it's bloody stinging. But these guys here, I'll tell you what, if it wasn't a warning enough with the colour being black and white, it's a warning when you can smell them from at least a mile away, quite literally. Now, the striped skunks, they're pretty common in the US. Having said that, it's been quite difficult to try and find one. Look at you! Yeah, you just want to get a bite on me! You've got to be careful because getting a bite from an animal like this is they can be a carrier of rabies. And, you know, getting rabies isn't exactly the most ideal thing. Now, look at you, are you coming down? You're coming down, aren't you? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna carefully put him down on the ground, and the reason is because I feel like he's gonna give me another spray. Okay, 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 mate, okay, mate. Now, it's always key whenever you get these on the ground that you have your hand as far away from them as possible, and that its anus isn't facing towards you. Isn't that right? You always just gotta try and keep them alleviated away from you. Now. These skunks are, they're, um, <laughs> look at what are you doing mate? These skunks, they're an opportunist and they'll eat almost anything. Anything from insects to raw food products. They can even be a bit of a problem for the farmers, particularly if they've got a pet cat or a dog. Reason being, these guys will get stuck right into things like the cat food, even the dog bones. Having said that, okay, look at him. Uh, oh, you spray me again, you Now it's funny, these guys here are a relative of the weasel family and you know, it's funny noticing with these guys that you know, the coloration of the animal just means warning all over. You know, even wolves, bears, nothing will go up against an animal like this because well, honestly, who'd want to eat something that smells like <laughs> quite literally. Alright mate, I'm going to give you a bit of a release. Okay mate, let me let you go. Alright, go. Take off your own devices. Look at you. It's been almost a month since I filmed this and I still smell like Pepe Le Pew. Using a combination of washing detergent, baking soda and peroxide can help mask the odour. People who say use tomato juice are just as stupid as a bird with a parachute. 